Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. This is Jerry from Backcountry Wrenching and in today's video it has been an extremely warm February that pretty much all the snow is melted and this weekend is going to be extremely nice. So we decided to head out for a night, heading out with Mike from the Emporium Outdoors, Fedor and MJ and their dog Jasper. And I tell you these winding mountain roads, meeting a logging truck, there's not too much room. She's pretty tight there. I thought for sure he was going to hit my Jeep, but uh, everything was A-OK. -okay. So we're headed out just north of Wipers to a place called Hunter Valley Road. A friend of mine had said that there's been some pretty nice camping there, so we're headed out to check it out and see what we can find. That's a pretty steep cliff. You don't want to be falling down. Oh, there's cow poop for you to eat. This spot's nice, but we're going to check out another spot. Gonna go back to where we were because it's way better. There's one down here too. So this is my first time going down Hunter Valley Road. It's hard to tell in the winter time, but there doesn't seem to be at least what I can see a whole lot of pull-off camping spots this whole road. My buddy used to camp here all the time, but I don't really see a lot. But we're almost back to where we were. We we're going to set up camp. Back to this spot. So just all set up now. Got the the Russian palace out tonight. Wood stove is set up. It's be my third time using this, I guess it would be. Using gonna use both the wood stove and the diesel heater. Yeah, this thing is pretty massive. I just brought the small battery pack tonight. I usually bring the EcoFlow Delta, but tonight I just brought the uh, Rock Pals. It's a 300 watt because once the once the wood stove goes out, I probably need to run it for a few hours. So that's our sleeping arrangements. Jasper has his own little dog bed over there. This is a pretty good view here, though. Looking down, summertime, you'd have the water. Nice view of the valley. This would be Jasper's first camping trip out. Jasper, what are you doing? It's your first camping trip. What are you doing? Hey. Jasper. So I believe Mike from the Emporium Outdoors had got the fire going and then Fedor on my table decided that uh, he's going to bring his Coleman campware set out and he's got a bottle of scotch and uh, yeah, drinking scotch and beer and sitting by a fire. Some people are probably going to get right ripped later on. It's going to be such a beautiful time out. I'm going to get my drone up in the air because uh, once I start drinking, I can't fly my drone because it's all part of your licensing agreement with Transport Canada. So I want to get up, do some flying and start drinking some booze. But I think there's going to be some pretty 
Might be some epic shots here, we're gonna find out. Do, 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 do. I have a beer down there somewhere. Sneaky weasel. Should be good. So somehow I got conned into drinking some scotch, and I'm not a scotch drinker at all. Being all classy, drinking it out of a coffee cup, it's not for me. Not for me at all. Maybe just weak in that sense, but once we got a camp set up and a fire going, the only thing that was left to do is just kind of sit around, relax, BS, have some drinks, cut up some firewood, but all the firewood seemed to be rotten. So Fedora dragged this tree out. You would think it'd be pretty good. That sucker's rotten. Rotten. Still checking some things out. Looks like someone, someone built like a rocket stove out of the stump there, eh? Hey, look at that. Someone's doing some bushcrafting stuff. I think this one here looks like she fell over too, but it's looking like it's rotten. Shot with a shotgun. I guess if you get ballsy enough, you could take your quad, jump off the edge, shut her down. Yeah, so it's been a pretty good day so far, just keeping it relaxed and easy. Mike from the Emporium Outdoors is out here. Uh, my girlfriend MJ, Fedor. Just taking a nice, relaxing day to kick back, not really spending too much time with the camera, so to speak. But I've never been out this way before. It's not that far from where I've gone out. It's the whole point of going out and exploring and checking out brand new sites and had an idea to get out here where we went up the cowboy trail up 22 and then went out by water valley and then west that way but i think it would just would have been better to go straight up through wipress because you're not that far from uh the margaret lake trail and everything else so i think that's the way tomorrow we're gonna head her back is headed down that way we are kind of out in the open so to speak so it'll be interesting to see how tonight's gonna be if we're gonna get some wind that's the Fisker split axe. 
Just stuck in there. Hey, because it's just rotten. Shut her down. Oh. <laughs> it's defeating you. It's calling you weak. The big, strong Russian bear could not split it. Is it better? So it isn't rotten, you're saying? You only cutting off one piece? Oh, I got some battery life in my my saw. Old Milwaukee just already dead, eh? Well, it's the same battery from last time. Oh, I'm making up excuses now. The old greener's gonna have to come out. That's good though. How will it split though? Oh yeah, that's some wood right there. Oh, right, here we go, Boris. Uh oh. I see where Fedora stopped cutting. Is the Milwaukee was not strong enough. That's the weakness coming out. <laughs> I'm actually sawing right through the knot here. Making up excuses. Oh look, is it gonna give me oh. it's dead here? Ryobi will finish it off. Should have bought the big battery. Oh, you're done. You're done. He's almost like too big for my bar. That mountain of chips right there. You're a Cabela special? I give up already. You give up? Just gonna sleep in the back of the Jeep? Yeah. That's why you should have set up first be before drinking all damn day. Fine. What's it called? The Otter? The Otter Vortec Monster Lodge. It's like a 110 square foot. Look at the size of this thing. Jasper, are you gonna go inside and take a dump? Is that what you're gonna do? Take a dump inside Fedora's tent? Take a big old steamer in there for him? This is Fedora's diesel heater. It's the all-in-one unit with a built-in case. Looks a little questionable. This is how they do it in Russia. Hey, just touch the wires on the battery post. <laughs> Ugh. 
Look at the size of this place. Jesus, that's huge. So the sun is just setting beneath the clouds and uh, over there. I don't know if I could zoom in, but uh, some random people in a minivan just pulled up and setting up camp there. They came in and sat over there and then drove down the road and came back and now they're just setting up. The red is hot and the dark is barbecue. I'm just going to warm them up on the rocket stove and just get fired up. The modifications to my rocket stove turned out really well. Getting everything packed up. Leave no trace behind. Good thing I was able to pull the Jeep around. Otherwise it would have been a cold night, didn't bring enough wood for the camp stove. Fedora's just packing up. Jasper's getting himself tangled up in the trees. Come over here. Have a look at that view. Sun's just coming up, coming down on us right away. All in all, it's a good trip out. It's nice to get out. Weather couldn't have been any more perfect. I can see the sun coming up, hitting me on the face. It's just gonna be a warm day. Warm day indeed. Those people that were camping with us, well, not we didn't talk to them and they didn't talk to us, but the they're just packed up and gone. They seem to survive the night. They must have brought some gas station wood. I'm assuming because they didn't cut any trees down. And they're driving a minivan, so I don't suspect that they're the wood cutting people. Jasper didn't destroy the tent and knock the stove over and burn us down, so that's a pretty good sign. Right, Jasper? You're a special puppy, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're very special. Yes, you are. Yeah. Special Jay, that's what I'm going to call you. After we cleaned up our campsite, it was time to head her out. Leave no trace behind. That's the way we always do it. It was a beautiful night out in the bush for February. You couldn't have asked for better weather at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll see you guys in the next one.